Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tips. In this tip, we are going to learn how to create a generic event and we'll connect it to a product and make it a paid event. This is my all events page. So first we need to create an event. We go to our WordPress dashboard, all events and click on add new. Next, we create an event, which is a generic event, and we add some content, select the category, enter a subtitle, and here we do not select any course, nor any assignment. We select the start date and the end date similarly the start time and the end time select a location google map right so once we have done all the settings the last two settings are the private event so we enable private event and now we need to connect it to a product so first we have to create a product for this so we go to dashboard products add product and we give this the same name now we do not since this is not a course product we need not worry about the course product settings in product data we mark it as virtual downloadable and set a regular price so once we have set a regular price we publish the product and we come back to our course event and connect this product in the associated product for event so for that we first publish the event or save as draft and then we connect the all course event product and update so now if we view this page this event we can see all the details now I am going to log in as a student and then we'll go to the all events page or open up by simply adding the slug in the URL so here we created the event from 29 to 31st and we click on click on the day you can see our event so now when student access the event he gets to see the get access to this event link upon clicking this link this button is taken to the checkout page for this we have enabled the direct checkout switch in the options panel so after filling in all the details and then placing the order so as soon as the order is marked as complete the student will now get access to the event so now if student accesses the event after purchasing the product you can view the event content so that is how the paid events functionality work in WPLMS the events can be global and can be located in the all events page so that's it from WPLMS tips thanks for watching